What's up, YouTube community? Staying Dad GT here. Just wanted to come and show you uh, the car that I actually currently have. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know right now I'm waiting for my uh, Mustang GT Premium to come into the dealer. Should be in sometime this week. Who knows? It's already been uh, pushed back three different times since it shipped out. Uh, but I do want to show you uh, a car that I currently have. In my first video, we talked about it a little bit. It's a 2010 Ford Fusion Sport. Uh, we've had some pretty bad weather here in St. Louis. A uh, lot of snow. It finally just warmed up and melted, so it's really wet outside. And I think it's about the rain, so I'm sorry if the lighting's bad. Uh, but I did get the car washed yesterday, and just wanted to do a quick uh, show of the car um, because it's still staying in the family. It's going to my wife. I still love the car. I've had it for about six years now, and it's been such a solid car. It has uh, really not had any major issues with it, and uh, I still love it. But, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to have a little favoritism towards the Mustang. So let's do a quick walk around here because I think it's starting to drizzle. Uh, so I'm going to flip the camera around. So one of the things I did to this car um, was if you see the front grille here, it's painted black. Um, and this particular uh, model, the 2010, the 12, um, unless you got the sport um, package on it, it came with um, a chrome uh, grille. And uh, you can see there's three, three um, strips, basically. Those are all chrome, and that was way too much. Um, so I had it uh, painted to match the color of the car, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, and then the emblem there, I actually um, found a seller on eBay who made these custom. So we have a black emblem rather than the, you know, the kind of the blue uh, and chrome Ford. Uh, and sorry for the noise in the background. I don't, don't know if you can see down there. We live a little close to one of the major highways, um, so you hear those trucks using the air brakes a lot. Um, kind of pain in the butt when you're trying to sleep at night. Um, anyway, back to the car here. Uh, so, and I'll show you some, some other mods I did uh, a little bit here. Um, you can see uh, I added some, um, these are Philips LED uh, day, daytime running lights. You know, they, I'm a little disappointed that they've yellowed over over the years, and you can see that uh, you know, I broke a little piece here. but I basically had a custom uh, mount these into the grill, into this location, uh, into the lower grill, and I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I turn the lights on. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the headlight mods I've done to the car. Uh, you know, so this car is, a, again, it's a 2010, so it's uh, just about nine years old now. And then I'm pretty happy with the shape it's in. There's door dings here and there. There's like two or three hail damage marks. Um, rims are in good shape. I've always wanted to plastic dip them, never really did it. Uh, actually ended up plastic dipping a pair of, um, sorry, a set of Mustang rims that I bought with um, some all-season tires. Because um, again, I, as I mentioned, we do get some snow and some bad weather here in St. Louis occasionally. Um, so I have a spare set of tires and, and rims when the Mustang finally does come. So we'll just do a quick walk around here. Uh, we'll notice here on the back, I also have the black Ford emblem. Um, this is actually just basically, it sticks on over the current emblem, so I didn't have to replace the whole emblem. It just kind of stuck on over it. Um, big St. Louis Cardinals fan. If anyone knows anything about the city of St. Louis, um, the St. Louis Cardinals are basically uh, what we all live about. Um, so I have that on there. I do not plan to put one of those on the Mustang. I have some different plans um, for the Mustang. She's just finishing the walk around here. Uh, another mod I did was um, pick up these side markers here. Um, so the stock side markers in the Fusions are orange. Uh, not a huge fan of that. Um, so we got the clear uh, with, uh, these are Dial Dynamics LEDs um, as well. If you look at the turn signal here, which normally lights up orange, um, and I'll show you here in just a minute. Um, these are actually Dial Dynamics uh, switchbacks. Um, and these look really, really good with the car. Uh, though this headlight is a stock headlight when you look at it, uh, this projector here actually is from the retrofit for retrofit source. Excuse me, it's called the Evo XR. So it's actually a HID projector meant for HIDs, uh, but because the car came stock with projectors, uh, it still keeps a good stock look. I didn't have to paint it black here. This was all stock. Uh, I just had to switch out the projector to give myself a lot better light output. Um, so that's the outside of the car. Um, so let's quickly go ahead and show you the inside of the car. All right, as we go to open the door here, uh, we notice the keypad here. Uh, one of the things I did uh, was the this keypad, actually the back light of it was kind of like a green, um, and I really didn't like that. 
Um, so the I was able to switch that out with um, I believe it was a Ford Edge. Um, they actually had the white background, so the keypad lights up white. Uh, but it's already unlocked, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Um, so we can see the inside here. Um, I haven't detailed it. It is somewhat clean again, just because I took it to the car wash. They clean. They wipe down the inside. Uh, it's got the black leather interior. Um, you know, navigation. The black kid's car seat. Um, I also did a full LED conversion in here as well, um, all diode dynamics. Um, so let's go ahead, sit in here, and start her up. Got the nice Ford logo on the screen. I love how big the screen is on this. Um, it's got really good clarity. Uh, let me turn the music off here in just a second. Um, so we've got the stock navigation. I'm sorry, it's connecting to my phone. So we have the stock navigation on here. Uh, it does have, I'm gonna close the door to get some of the outside noise in. It does have the uh, Sony sound system in here, uh, which I believe is, uh, I wanna say it's 10 speakers um, plus two subs in the back. Um, it sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, which actually concerns me a little bit with the Mustang. So I do have the 19 with the uh, B&O sound system. And I've heard mixed reviews on that. Um, you know, this Sony sound system, I think, is really one of the best stock sound systems I've ever heard. Uh, and I've had cars that came with Bose um, and everything like that. Not that I'm an expert, but just my opinion is I, this is one of the best sound systems I've ever heard. I'm not going to turn it up for you guys because depending where you're listening to this, you can't really tell the effects of it. Um, so car currently has 93,277 miles. Again, I bought it back in 2012, maybe 2013. Um, I think it was the middle of 2012 after it had a uh, really big hailstorm. My old car was a 2007 uh, Accord V6. Uh, it got totaled out from the hail. I uh, bought this car with about 48,000 miles on it. Um, so I've only put 50,000 miles on here in the last six years. I don't drive much. I live um, I've always worked close to home. Now I have the luxury of actually working from home. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you around a little bit. Uh, it's not nighttime, so you can't really see. Um, but this button here, you can change the colors of the LEDs. Um, you know, it has, let's see if I can show you that here in the cup holder. Uh, this little guy here, there's one on the other side and two in the back. Um, they light it up. You know, it's, again, it's, it's a nine year old car. So those types of features I think are pretty cool. Uh, I know the Mustang coming has um, all those my color modes. I'm super excited to be able to have that customization um, when that car comes. So I just kind of want to show you the inside um, of my car here. I'm going to go ahead and um, force my headlights to turn on and take you out to show you uh, what I've done with the headlights. Give me a second here. Um, again, they're HID, so they do take a little bit to warm up. Um, I've always had uh, the inkling like the some of the Lexuses where they had yellow fog lights so I have yellow fog light bulbs in here uh, when they first turn on they actually do look a little bit green uh, but I promise you they are a 3000 Kelvin uh, yellow and if you're curious about retrofitting and, and headlights and things like that uh, my last video I posted about a week and a half or so ago um, it's kind of an introduction to a headlight retrofitting um, so let's turn around here and take a look real quickly um, so you can see uh, you know, the, the DRLs, the, um, the bulbs on the inside are the turn signals. Um, they light up white, and then we have our normal uh, HIDs on the outside low beams. Um, and like I said, with the yellow fogs here and the clear side markers with the white LED uh, side lamps. Um, so uh, when I'm driving with the car, so actually, real quickly, I will turn the headlights off and show you what the car looks like if there's no headlights on. So the, the DRLs are actually hooked up to the battery. So anytime you uh, start your car, they run like this. Um, the This Fusion, this model, did have the option to have um, the low beam act as your DRLs. Uh, it was, I think, um, standard in Canada. Uh, and otherwise you had to go get the ECU like reprogrammed or whatever at the Ford dealer. Um, a couple of reasons I didn't do that. One, I didn't want to pay for it. Um, two, because my low beams are HIDs, you can't actually run uh, DRLs on an HID. HID either gets full power or it doesn't get any. Um, 
So I, I installed these for a custom look. Um, I was really kind of trying to go with the line of the car um, going down here. So I was pretty happy with it. You know, my workmanship maybe wasn't the best. It was the first time I've ever did that. This didn't actually break right away either. Um, this broke, I don't know, a year or two after it. But these have been on the car for a good five, six years. Um, I didn't do it right after I got the car. But I think it's uh, held up pretty well and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so let's turn the lights back on um, and I will actually turn one of my blinkers on so you can kind of see the switch back and how that works. Uh, so we'll turn the driver's side blinker on. So if you turn back around here, you can see that it lights up orange. And so I have the camera here on a tripod I'm going to set it up facing the light real quickly. So you can see that blinking. Let me just move a little bit closer for you. All right, so now we're gonna shut that off. All right. And you can see that it turns back white. Uh, one of the other things I did um, when I installed this, so the Evo XR uh, projector, again, that's the projector that's in here. Looks like any normal projector. Um, it actually is what we call bi xenon. So there is uh, the shield that creates the cutoff, which, if we look in here, so right here, there's a little slope here, and then it goes over. That's the um, driver's side headlight. That's the cutoff. So when the shield drops down, it lets out all the light above it to create your high beams. Well, because the car also has stock collagen high beams, um, I created a custom harness, um, of course, with the helps of parts from the retrofit source. So I actually get quad high beams. So when I turn my high beams on, you're gonna get the high beams out of the halogen, the stock collagen bulb, and you'll get the high beams out of here. So we'll show you two different looks at it. So going into the garage, okay, so let me walk you into there and point it out the differences in case you're not able to see them and I know it's probably going to be really overexposed here but this light here as well as here and I'll back up a little bit it's a little bit more um, soft white yellow look that's your stock high beams now if you look up here you can actually see a band kind of right now that is the high beam, and then you can see right there, so that's one of the high beams, um, the driver's side. That is the high beam from the projector. So when you turn those on at night, uh, let me tell you, it's like sun rays coming out of the car. Um, and you can see here, by looking at the headlight, you can see the, the high beams on here. And I mean, just looking at it right now, you can't necessarily tell, but if you're you know, an oncoming driver or is behind you, um, you might be saying some pretty mean things towards me right now because it'd be really, really bright. Um, and it's great. I live in the back of a neighborhood that doesn't really have many street lights, no sidewalks. Um, so those high beams really, really come in play. There's a lot of deer around here. Um, so that definitely comes into play um, for, for good output, light output at night. Um, so that's about all I had to show you. Uh, again, I just wanted to show you a car I have right now. Again, it's a 2010 Ford Fusion Sport. Uh, it is not the all-wheel drive version, so that's really the only thing that the car doesn't have. Um, but I do absolutely love the car. It drives well, it's reliable, awesome sound system, the navigation's great. Uh, really no complaints about it. Um, <clears throat> so I'll probably do some more reviews here shortly um, on some detailing products. And I might use this car rather than the Mustang, um, only because when I get the Mustang it's going to be brand new. So, you know, it won't have had... 93,000 uh, miles of driving on it um, and sitting in the seats and things like that so um, you know I just wanted to let you know I'm, I'm working with um, Vivash uh, Auto Care uh, they have uh, provided some some products for me to test out um, I think I'm gonna start with uh, tire shine um, you know and I really like detailing all the, the dash here um, I've used armor all in the past you know it's not necessarily shiny now because I haven't detailed it and Oh, several months um, but I have um, 
you know, detail for that um, to try. And as it warms up a little bit more here in St. Louis, um, you know, we're in the middle of winter. We got lucky right now because it's like 60, 65 degrees. Oh, there we go. It's 56 degrees. Um, we've had some nice weather the last couple days, but it's not going to last. Um, but once I'm able to get outside and wash my car again and not have, uh, you know, the pipes freeze over and burst, uh, I will definitely test out the um, shampoo and wax in one um, that they provide. Um, and then I'll provide some descriptions uh, and some codes in, in the description below. Uh, if you want to try and order something, um, you can use the code, I think, uh, Greg15. I believe it saves you about 15% off their products. Um, again, I haven't used them yet. That video is going to be up and coming. Uh, you know, show you show you my initial thought of it. Um, pretty much video it as I'm using it, so you can see um, in real time what's happening, not my reaction after the fact. So I want to thank you again for taking any time to watch this video, listen to me ramble. Uh, really, I'm trying to find some filler um, material until the Mustang comes because I am absolutely dying for this car to come. Uh, I've had eight weeks to basically come up with all these plans and mods and things like that and decide to start a YouTube channel um, so that's you know really what what the goal is here um, so if you haven't yet go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to be I recommend also hitting the notification bell just because you know I don't know when I'm gonna be uploading videos uh, I'd like to do you know two videos a month at this point um, but also a lot of that will be uh, what my pockets allow me to do uh, with the Mustang uh, as well as my wife um, I think she's uh, has doesn't quite understood what she got into with me or ordering the Mustang starting a YouTube channel and joining all these groups um, but I want to thank everybody who has shown support um, let me join Mustang groups I have I'm really excited for what the future is going to hold um, with cars I've always had a passion for cars and now I really feel like I'm going to be able to share it with other people. Um, so if you want to leave any comments of what you'd like to see, uh, it doesn't have to be Mustang or Fusion related. Uh, I have a brother who's big in the Jeeps. You know, if we want to do some Jeep content, I'm happy to do whatever. Um, uh, so, you know, feel free to reach out to me there um, on Instagram, GT as well. Um, anyway, I hope you guys who are in the cold weather, I uh, hope you have a good rest of your winter and that it warms up for you soon. Uh, and I will talk to you later. Peace.